My name is Fabrizio Romano. I am a football journalist and here we go. Transfer window is really, I say, a crazy word. It's like a jungle because everything can happen every minute, every day. It's like playing football, in my opinion, because when you get news about transfer market, I feel like scoring a goal, I always say, in an important match, in a Champions League match. And you always have to stay concentrated. You always have to stay in contact with the right people. I live with my phone. I, I always say, like my friends, every day, everything can happen. So I start with, with agents, I then have contracts also with sport directors, it can be also with the player. In this football today, more than five years ago or seven years ago, now agents are so important in transfer markets. Also the players can help you, but the players uh, many times are the last to know what will happen really. It's not easy to say what are my sources, but because it changes every time with every, with every transfer. During the transfer market, I sleep like five or six hours uh, from five until 10. Then I get up and I wake up and I start to be <laughs> with my phone all over the day. Uh, I start making calls with, as I told you, with agents, with directors. I work in Milano. Here we have the center of the transfer market here in Milano. I love the city and I love the adrenaline of the city because everything can happen here. And yes, I immediately started to go around Milano. Not in the summer because we you know, have the virus, so the situation is complicated also. So here in Italy and also in other countries, they meet in the restaurants, they meet in the hotels. So we try to find them. It's like Pokemon. On, I say because you have to find them. Sometimes uh, you can stay like one day, like spending nine hours, ten hours, and you don't find anything. And then in two minutes you can get Minoraiola with Paul Pogba. Finding Minoraiola is like wow because he's the king. It's totally changed, in my opinion. It's totally changed about the timing. More than money, because uh, the timing of the money and the move on the money between the top clubs is totally different. Uh, I give you an example about Manchester United too. I am sure, totally sure, that without the virus, now we were speaking about Paul Pogba to Juventus this summer, because they were ready to make an important bid, 100 million euro. Then they had the virus, they lost money, uh, something has changed in Manchester United, they were back to win games, they were back to the Champions League, and now the deal is totally off. The virus needs to tell you, okay, you have to wait, you have to find the right money, you have to find also players to sell, uh, you have to have a balance to sign players now, it's not like before. I remember 10 years ago, 9 years ago, it was like one week to complete an agreement. You were going to see the rumor about the top club and seven days later you had the player with, with the new club. Now you need like one month or two months also because the intermediary have an important part and they have to be paid with important, important commissions. So I remember to make you an example, last summer with Delict, with, uh, with Juventus, they had the agreement closed with the club, with IX, and they need one month to find an agreement with Rayola. He had the percent on, on the players, on the sale of the players. For example, he has it on Holland and he has it also on the league. He has a percent for himself. It's a drama, but it's about dreams. And when you have dreams as the focus, and dreams are not for top clubs or for middle table clubs or for second division clubs. Dreams are for every fan in football. So also if you have a news about the small team, <clears throat> it can be a dream for a fan and for many fans. Always we will have the drama, we will have people connected on the social media to find news on the websites, on the papers, on the TV. Always the transfer market will be the center of the show.